Hi, this is Tommy Bowen from the band NYC, and I'm here to give you a quick start on the guitar wheel. Basically, in plain New York English, I'm going to give you a couple of quick points to dive into this so you can get started on this. Essentially, what you got here is a two-ounce reference library all about music theory. You've got the guitar side on one side and the music theory side on the other. Uh, essentially, this is a, a great device. Now, you might have seen me in guitar magazine ads for this, and also, I was just recently uh, an additional instructor at the George Lynch Teaching Dojo, which I used this as a reference guide with the students, and it was a really big hit. In addition, I contributed a lesson to the book coming out, which features excerpts from my DVD, Metal Primer. Now, let's get started on this. Like any fast-paced New Yorker, you want answers quick? This has got the answers right there. What you have here on the guitar side is essentially a curved guitar neck. Now, if you look here, you can see all the strings here are numbered right through. Now, if we put the selector and put G in the master key window, we can see, essentially, the dots here, that is now the G major scale. Green is major, red is minor, and the diminished is orange, and you can see here the degrees on the side, we're now in the diatonic triad section. So basically, you can see the entire G major scale pop out right there, and you can actually create new scales, and these are all bar chords, so now you have all the access to the bar chords you need. Now, if you come over to this side, on the, on the same side, the guitar wheel, keeping it in G, we now have the tonic chord inversion chart, which shows you other positions to play G at. So over here at the seventh fret, we can now see this is a, a second position, with G over here actually on the eighth fret, because the G is in the white window. Over here, uh, G being on the twelfth fret, we can now see that with matches the blue, which we scroll down here. That shows you that's a root position. And then G as well here, over on the, the third fret, would be the yellow, that is a first inver uh, position, uh, inversion. Now, the guitar wheel uh, is essentially, you know, all the answers are right here. The, the wheel essentially reinforces itself. The more you look at it, the more it will pop out. Don't try to dive in all at once. Essentially, this is what I'm giving you right here in the quick start. Now, if you look here, on the same side, you have the major chord, green, which shows you the root, third, and fifth, and explains the breakdown there. And right next to it's the minor chord, which shows you the breakdown there, root, third, and fifth, which would be B, D, and F sharp. And over here, D, F sharp, and A, diminishing in uh, the orange. And this essentially will get you rolling to understand the breakdown of major chords, minor chords. Might be stuff you know, might already know. Maybe you want to fine tune a couple of things, or you just want to even learn more and just basically take theory to the next level. This can do it. Okay, so we just finished with the guitar wheel side. Now we'll flip it over. And you have the music theory, or what we call the piano side. Now let's take the guitar selector right here. We'll slide that into the key of F, which appears now in the master key window. So essentially, you now are in the key of F right there. Now, if we move over to the major tonic chord section, we can now see the breakdown by putting F, the bold letter, inside this window here. F is the major key. You now have the F major scale across here. And now you have instant reference to the relative minor key which would be D, and the corresponding stuff there. Now, the great part here is you can instantly, you know, see the minor pentatonic scale and the major pentatonic scale, and it gives you the formulas and shows you all the breakdowns. So, a lot of times, you'll want to transpose right on the spot. So, if you look over here to this side, above the master key, we see F is in the major window, and there's the F major scale, and if you want to transpose across, let's say, to the key of B flat, there's all the corresponding notes right there, or the key of E flat, or if you want to move the selector to the key of G flat, you now have all the corresponding transpositions as well, which can make for jamming a lot more easier. Now, this side also has a lot of bonus features, which, you know, to, to a lot of people would be a great advantage. For example, you have the piano staff. So if you're reading music or trying to dissect music, now you know all the notes right there. You have the major clef and you have the, uh, the bass clef, the G clef and the bass clef. You have the piano keyboard, which essentially shows you formulas for the keyboard as well the enharmonic equivalent table, which essentially is the same note with two different names, which uh, that's a great thing to have here, especially as you go through the wheel and you're, you're using that for quick reference. So you have that there, and also the uh, circle of fifths, the circle of fourths going the other direction, and essentially you have a world of answers right here. All right, in closing, I just want to say something here about the guitar wheel, pretty much that this is an insane device, but in the best way. Essentially, the Rubik's Cube designed from the inside out. Now, you might have read the quote, insanity applying for positive results is genius, and anything that sparks an idea is gold. This does that, and it fits in my guitar case. I want to tell you, enjoy learning more with the guitar wheel. This is Tommy Bowen signing out. If you get a chance, check out my DVD, Metal Primer, available at all major music stores and at liftedjam.com.